What's up, Cascada here? Today, Galactus is going to beat up some opponents. Now, before we get into it, don't forget to spank that leopard in so hard like your parents used to spank you when you were naughty. Because, you know, um, views have been hitting a new low, and quite honestly, I am a little skeptical of whether I should continue doing stuff like this. But anyways, let's jump into today's content. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to like and sub to the channel for free for more awesome Marvel Snap. Now, Galactus. Okay, first off, let's take a look at this deck. This particular version is the one that I feel most comfortable with after a ton of place testing. It just fits my playstyle. But if you want to see some of the other cards that uh, works well with Galactus, uh, don't forget to check out some of my other guys on Galactus. So to so as to you know, find different combos that fits your own playstyle. Hey, this time we're gonna rock with this one and wreck some opponents. Okay, I'm honestly thinking you guys might know this really well just like i do i'm gonna talk about the combos really quickly so the biggest combo you can get is iron fist into a shuri and then hobgoblin then you galactus yeah that is just great when the stars align it's really hard for them to beat the negative 16 power lane so your galactus can just go off but uh usually the biggest combo okay the combo that you use most often is going to be Wave, Galactus, into Spider-Man. Then they cannot play anything on turn 6, and you can just make your play accordingly to win the game. If they play something big, you go for your Shang-Chi. If they don't do anything good, then you can slap down a death. And that's going to be enough power for you to win the game. So, when you're playing Galactus stack, the most important part is to treat Galactus as one of your win conditions, not your only win condition. So, you got Destroyer here, and you know, Death is just good as well. So, just go for your other cards to win the game instead of Galactus if you have to. So, there we go. Let's jump right into some games and see how Galactus is going to slap those opponents. Alright, Shadowland is kind of bad because we cannot play Galactus over there. The hand is pretty good. We got Electro to ramp. And then we can go Hobgoblin, Galactus into a final turn play. So, well, I guess this Hobgoblin is going to rack him hard. Let's see. If he plays two cards there, it's going to be a problem. But if he plays two cards there this turn, then I don't think it's going to beat Galactus anyways. So there we go. Just one card. Yeah, they want to stack up as much power as they can. And uh, Hobgoblin just clocks him hard. I guess that's GG well played because there's no way he can beat this Galactus on the right side. So when you play Galactus, it's actually not that hard. Try to fill up your opponent's locations like this, or you can just go for the sheer power. But of course, we're going to take a look at that a little later. But right now, we clocked their lane. And there's nothing else we need to do. Yeah, they're definitely going to retreat, so snap. Yeah, well. They actually didn't. So we actually get two cubes instead of one. Which is why that was the perfect timing for you to snap. Just snap on turn five if you're confident enough in your plays. Then you're going to win more cubes. I think the biggest tip I can give you right now is to snap early. When you're confident that you will win the game, just snap. Because a lot of times, okay, if this happens, what do you think the opponent is going to do? They're going to retreat. Yeah, there we go. So you're just going to win one cube if you snap on turn six. Which is why snapping on turn five was the perfect timing and we did it. So there we go. This is how you win games with Galactus and potentially more cubes if they do not know they have to retreat. Now let's move on to the next victim. Okay, getting Daredevil down is very important because you will know exactly what to do on turn 5. Yeah, Daredevil just spies on the opponent and you get a read on what they are going to do. And then you can act accordingly. Which is why Daredevil is just so awesome. Okay, we actually make the stars align. We had faith and we played the Iron Fist. All I had to do was top deck the Galactus and I got it. 
So there we go. A little bit of misplay though because they discarded the death and uh, the Ghost Rider was quite obvious. But I didn't know where he's going to play it, so it was a little bit of a mess up. But I'm just going to follow through with the Hobgoblin and see if I can beat him. He's got a Gambit, but it's alright because he's going to go first. It doesn't matter who he kills here, because, yeah, they're all equal. They don't matter. And of course, when you play a card after Shuri, play it at her original position, which is why Iron Fist does so well alongside Shuri. As you can see, Iron Fist, Shuri, Hobgoblin creates a massive 16 point disadvantage for the opponent. And we can slap down Galactus and wreck him. The worst part is they got a death down, which makes it a little too difficult. Let's see what their final play is. Oh no, a Hella. But it's okay, because the Infinite spawned on the wrong tile. And we win the mid with ease. 1 in 3 chance for the opponents to win, and they did not get it. So, well, GG well played, and that is how you slap people with Galactus. And don't forget to slap that button so hard, guys. Now, let's move on to our next victim. Hmm. Electro on turn 2 because of Elysium. I like this a lot. But we got Wave Galactus. Hmm. And then we got Spider-Man. So, let's see, let's see. Maybe we're still gonna do it. Because, you know, Wave Galactus Spider-Man is just such a good combo. Yep, I'm gonna go mid, just so I have more options for Galactus. Now, they have to guess. Am I gonna go Galactus on the left or right? There we go, the penalty kick time. I'm gonna go left or right. I mean, yeah, middle is not an option, but you get a drift. Are you gonna make the save? Nope, not even close. Galactus pops and it destroys the opponent. Yep, it doesn't just destroy the locations, it destroys the opponent's morale as well. And they retreat even before the animation stops. And that, ladies and gents, is how you slap people hard with Galactus plays. So GG well played. We didn't even need to Spider-Man. But you know Spider-Man is definitely going to ensure us the victory on the final turn. Now let's move on to the next victim. Okay we got a Daredevil here. But Central Park actually is going to ruin our day. Because we cannot Galactus anymore. We can't wave Galactus Spider-Man. But we cannot do it. Yeah, that is the worst feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst feeling you can experience. But um, remember when I said, treat Galactus as one of your win conditions, not your only one. Otherwise, you would have just gone for retreat, right? But that's the reason we put Destroyer into the deck. Destroyer clears the squirrels, and we can play normally. Hmm. Okay. Spider-Man would have worked before his nerf. Now it's nerfed to a 5 cost instead of a 4. So we cannot make the Spider-Man play on the right. And uh, Asteroid M is going to yank it. Nope, that's not going to happen. So we should just Hobgoblin, I guess, if we want to collect us. The no is pretty weak because we destroyed... Like, you know, Daredevil, Wave, and three Squirrels. And that's it. So right now, I'm going to send over the Hobgoblin. And Galactus is waiting for them. Hmm. 
They discarded two cards. And there we go. Galactus actually wins us the game. They don't got enough to beat us, I believe. So, GG well played to the opponent. Don't underestimate Galactus. It is just going to ruin your opponent's day. Now, let's move on to the final victim. Okay, a shocker. That is normal. Hmm. I believe that's going to be a Patriot deck. So I'm just going to Electro here because I'm confident I can top deck Galactus. And if I don't, Destroyer can, you know, make the left side disappear. Hmm. So, well, we're going to snap right here because we got Destroyer down already. Okay. They're confident as well, and they just snap. Okay, they did not snap. They caught our snap. Okay, now they snap. So, decisions, decisions. Hmm. It's actually nice because they don't got their Patriot down yet. I think we can abuse that. I can't get a very efficient, you know, um, curve down. So I'm just going to go for death. Oh, there we go. There's the Patriot. It's actually a lot stronger than you think because of Onslaught Citadel. Ongoing effects are doubled. So, Patriot is actually at plus 4 now instead of plus 2 to everything. It's got no ability. I guess this is going to be my final play. Gonna Shang-Chi the thing and then Hobgoblin just goes right. Do you think that's going to be enough? So the worst thing that can happen is Mystique into something else. Okay, two cards. That's scary. It's Outron. So that's going to be a Wasp. Really great play on their part. Oh no, it's Mr. Sinister. Oh, because of Elysium, that's why. So great job, but uh, it's still not enough because Shang-Chi... Just wrecks people like. I mean, you know, he, he just makes you disappear like a piece of dust. That's it. But hey, this tech is great even without Galactus. See that? Destroyer Death just wrecks a patriot on Onslaught Citadel. Yeah, this tech is just great because if you can win without playing Galactus, it's going to demoralize your opponent so, so hard. So there we go, guys. These are some different ways you can win with Galactus deck. Once again, treat Galactus as one of your win conditions, not your only win condition, and you will win a ton more games. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to slap the like button real hard and sub to the channel for free for more awesome Marvel Snap. Honestly, please help like the video and share it with your friends that love Marvel Snap because viewers have been really low recently, and I don't really know what to do. So, thanks for watching the video till the end. Have a great rest of the day, guys. And peace out.